Now let's look at the function of that ministry of a prophet. Number one, the prophetic office operates by the inspiration and the stirring of the spirit himself. The mere fact that you're able to predict something does not make you a prophet. It is, there are so many things we can bring together to foretell something. But if the source is the Holy Ghost, and that is also to say, if um, a fetish priest or somebody is able to tell you something of the future, that does not make the person a prophet. The person has given a prediction, foretold something to happen. But in this situation, it is a prophecy or the person is a prophet if the source is the spirit. The message of the prophet can come through one prophet, though there might be many prophets present. It's an important point as well. Meaning that prophets can be inspired to see or hear different things. So, if the Lord speaks to me, you don't base on the fact that he didn't tell you the same thing or he told you the same thing to judge whether what I'm saying is right or not right. It is possible though, just to make this point, that a single message can also be revealed to many prophets at the same time. Number four, the scope of what it tells varies. The means of communication varies as well. The last one there, prophecy should be carefully weighed. If you're a prophet, stop bullying people by saying, how has the Lord spoken and you are telling me that I should come and explain? When you get people like that, you are not careful, they'll break your church. Speak what God said you should speak. But when the church leadership and those who qualified in the things of the dealings of the Spirit are weighing the content of what you said, be humble enough for it to be weighed. If it is God, it will prove itself. 